Guys, welcome AJ. Let's talk sports. How you doing? Podcast, YouTube, check me out. I'm all over social media as well. AJWH2308. Check in the description where you can find me on the link tree. Also, you can find the social media and my sponsorships. We're going to be doing a Dayton Dragons and Cincinnati Reds special here today. So hopefully you guys stay tuned. It's going to be probably a quick show because my editing software is really, really slow. So we're probably going to do about a five to ten minute show. Going to get you a little teasers in here. Going to get some spots. Got a 5K to talk about. This is coming up on the Dayton Dragons. It's going to be a three about three months. Check out DaytonDragons.com. Sign up for the 5K. It's going to be fun. You get all kinds of prizes and stuff. You get a little goodie bag as well. That's going to be sweet. So that's presented by Orthopedic Associates. Here in the Dayton area, it's going to be at Dayton uh, Day Air Ballpark. It used to be called Fifth Third. I don't know why they changed the name of it, but it's Day Air Ballpark now. Um, don't know when they changed that. But three months from now, it's going to be really exciting, really fun. Bring out the kids, bring out the family, have some prizes, get some goodies, get a goodie bag, and have something to eat while you're there at the Day Air Ballpark. So, Dayton Dragons, register, 5K, DaytonDragons.com. All right, Dayton Dragons rained out on Wednesday. Now they have to play a doubleheader. They're at Lake County in East Lake. James Proctor looks like he's going to get his first start of the season. Check out his stats. At 18 games last year in the minor leagues, he had went 3-1, and one, which is not too bad. At ERA of 2.35. So Cincinnati Reds might be eyeing you, checking out James Proctor with 77 strikeouts last season. Now we're going to look at Cincinnati Reds. Nick Lodolo. Just brought up from the Dayton Dragons. Kind of teaser going into the Dragons to the Cincinnati Reds. Lodolo doesn't do well in his debut. Gets the loss 7-3 against the Cleveland Guardians. Hunter Green looking good. And he's ready to play. He's ready to start. He's ready to go for the Cincinnati Reds. 100 mile an hour fastball. Started his first pitch. Was a 98 mile an hour fastball the other day. Uh, things looking good, and he feels like he's at home there with the Cincinnati Reds. Hopefully, the management doesn't get rid of them. Reds versus L.A. Dodgers tonight at 10, 10 p.m. If you're a late nighter, we're going to watch it because it's probably going to be on until about 1 or 2 in the morning because the games last about 4 to 5 hours. Hopefully, they speed things up. Luis Cesar looks like he's going to get a start. It's a probable start, though. It's not named yet. Dodgers uh, at a minus 267. Kind of look at our um, uh, the money lines and the spreads. Dodgers are a favorite at minus 267, and the over-under is eight and a half runs total. So that's about five to four. Wait, yeah, five to four Dodgers. But it looks like, I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Assessa gets the win, and then the Cincinnati going all the way to the Dodgers in L.A. It's a long flight down there, over there, so hopefully the Cincinnati Reds get the win. Also, I'd like to talk about, first, is my mom's birthday today. Happy birthday. Second, guess who else's birthday is today? Pete Rose. Pete Rose turns 81 today. I used to see him a lot down in Lebanon Raceway. He used to be a, you know, a big gambler down there doing the uh, horse racing, harness racing. My grandpa, West, he owned a couple of horses down there. So we were always always down in Lebanon Raceway back when I was a kid. Me, dad, grandpa, three generations, four generations, always watching the racing, harness racing, and getting some dubs down there, being on the uh, newspaper ads and all that stuff. That was really cool. Also, um, what's your thoughts? I'd like to know your thoughts on is Pete, does Pete Rose deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? Does Pete Rose deserve to be in the Hall of Fame? And also, we teased it up in the beginning of the show. My link tree, Age of Let's Talk Sports, in the description page. Click on that and click on the sponsorships as well. We have, I have Ohio State sponsored, and you can click on that. There's all kinds of cool stuff with the Ohio State. There's also a lot of stuff with the Sun Power. You own your house. Christian Cafe, which is a single dating Christian site. This is going to be fun too. Then we have, um, there's a lot of different things on my sponsorship. So check them out. Find out what you want to do. Click on the link and do whatever you want to do. All right, there's your show. Trying to keep it quick, easy, simple for you guys. Dayton Dragons and the Cincinnati Reds, what I'm going to do on Thursday. Might get a little dive deep into it. Might even do a little podcast as well, but I might just switch it up. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow is UFC and PGA, RBC Heritage. Looking forward to that one. Love you guys. God bless. What do you do? What do I always say? Tip that waitress. Okay.